so. Okay. Leave it be. Hey guys, this is Derek with Drizzle. We've been having a nightmare with this thing for the past three to four years. First off, we had fuel issues. All the fuel system was pretty much redone. Uh, then we had electrical issues that randomly shows up. After we fix one, we have another. It's been a challenge for the past couple of years, off and on, getting this thing going. Uh, whether it's um, blowing ECMs randomly, uh, ground issues, stuff like that. So uh, timing jumped. It's been quite a challenge to get this thing running the way I really put together a car. So now what we're gonna do, uh, we need this car in two weeks because this guy started working on this car freshman year. He's, he's a senior now and he wants to take it for his prom. So we're gonna put a two week time period on this thing and we're gonna try to get it done. But we have a lot of stuff to do. We're gonna take this engine out because we find an issue with the engine. We're gonna take it out. And this guy's gonna get cranking to get that short block done. We're gonna do so much things to this thing in the next two weeks. I don't know how we're gonna get it done, but um, somebody's gonna be here lots of late nights. So a little bit of history on this car is I was building another S13. I'll show you in the back there. But I acquired this one from a customer that came in and saw my uh, enthusiasm for building one. And it reminded him of when he was younger and he wanted to build his so badly and the effort that I was putting in to build one. So he was kind of fed up with the car and wanted to just be over with it. So he decided to gift me the car so I could finish it, even though it's been sitting here for three years. Hopefully it'll be done soon. And let me go show you the next S13 that I started on. So this is the car that I was working on in my freshman year. Um, during lunch, my mom received a phone call from the customer stating that he saw the enthusiasm that I was building the car and was ready to move on and start a new journey with a new car. So he asked permission from my mom if he could give me the car and I really appreciated it. And I told him one day when I have it fixed that I'll let, I'll bring it by so he could drive it and I could show him all the things that I've done to it and show him the hard work that I put into it that he started. And hopefully one day I could show him it. Yeah, hopefully soon, right? Yes. Uh, hopefully in two weeks, you're gonna be driving to prom in this. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's do it. So we've got our coolant drain, we got an oil drain, and we're getting ready to tra uh, drain the transmission out. And um, we end up in an issue. So now we have to fix that. This is our first uh, no-no, and Holy it's wallowed shit. out. So we're gonna have to drill that out, tap it, and um, try to get it out and get a new one ordered up. So that's one of our first obstacles that we got dealing with. And we're gonna pull this and see what else we could get into trouble with.
All right, so here we have a little bit of shiny stuff that's sitting in the pan. Yep, not good. Not good at all. So, we're gonna go further and check in this. And see. All right, so we have the valve cover off this engine. And uh, upon a little bit more, it's a closer inspection, and looking over it, uh, kind of wiped down a little bit here to figure out what this is. But we have a lot of like sludgy buildup already. Uh, keep in mind that this engine did not run for very long uh, because we were having like little nits and issues with the electrical and all this other stuff. But it's I'm curious as to what, I'm not sure what it is with all of this gooey stuff that's built up and the same yeah. thing was that it was in the lower oil pan and sitting on top of the upper oil pan so i got to do some more investigation as of to what this is um we're going to probably have to go clean this up and inspect everything closely uh before we go back together and see what kind of other parts that i'm going to need to put into this engine All right, so what we've got right now, um, crank pulleys off, the water pump, all the upper and lower oil pan and all of that is in the hot tank getting cleaned out. We just pulled the uh, nuts off of the head studs, the RP head studs. And what we're gonna do is just lift this out and put it next door on this roller. And next we're gonna door, check. Huh? Yeah, next door on the roller. I am not comfortable with all of this black looking stuff that's in here for an engine that was put together a few years ago and le literally never went driving on the street um it's been in the shop just starting up once in a while like we said and back and forth so the only thing that this thing had was a dyno a couple of dyno poles um so we're gonna do some investigating as of to why this engine looks like this I'm going to go through the cylinder head, go through the block, and then determine what we got going on. Gasket's good. We didn't have a blown head gasket. Um, well, that's one plus. Yeah, all of them are pretty good. We do have a lot of. Yeah, that one looks like we've got some issues with some oil passing through. Got a decent amount of play. Ooh. What is that? Ooh. That's metal. 
That's a chip on the piston. Holy shit. Ugh. But that's not going to be good. Is this going to be a setback for you? We got to see. We got to go, go in more and try I to know. figure it out. What is that looking like to you, Derek? That looks like a chip off the top of the piston there. It's got a little bit of a, a divot. Let's get that out then. Oh. That almost fell, Derek. Okay. It's just going to the ground. Well, my... F it's not too bad. Oh, it's actually not bad at all. Come on, sure use a lot of silicone on these things. Like, excessively. Yeah. So what we've got, we've cleaned up um, the pistons on the top to take a good look. And we've got some damage there and this thing's got oh. all beaten up here like crazy. Uh, number one and number four, it's just completely beaten up uh, for whatever reason. Uh, we're going to go take a look Better, at it. But still we good still shape. have, like these are like yeah. pits. Is that how you would call it? Like little pits? Yeah, they're and, pits, but I don't know at if you least here, Dad, but on the pistons, they're not all uh, damaged up like number one and number four. Cylinder walls, they look pretty decent still. Mm -hmm. um, mm, this one have like, you could feel. It's got a little bit of something there. Maybe we had to take this out for a little bit. Oh, so, so let's take that out. 14. Strip the brake on Hmm? Not yet. Oh, we're going to clean it up. Is there anything in there? No, I don't see anything in the strainer to pick up. Um, it looks pretty clean, other than whatever this sludge stuff is. Um, let's go ahead and pull the rod and take a look and see what we got on number one piston. So grab me a 3 8. Just gonna pull piston one out. See oh. what we got. How bad. We drop something. Yeah. And go from there. Hammer. Is that the one that? That's the one that was really bad, right? Yeah. It's one and four. That's really bad. Oh, it's fun. What? Our bearing already is off of our rod. It looks like stretched out. Yeah, our bearing stretched out. I don't get it with this engine. It's like it, it never drove. 
Well, maybe that's the problem. That's why, you know, whatever was going on here is why we could never get it to run the way it needed to. But we'll get to the bottom of it. Either way, Derek, it needs to get done in two weeks. <clears throat> Well, I'm still looking, still looking, still exactly. There's impatient people around here, man. I well, need. To... What do you got? Let me see. It is why score pistons, eagle rods. Um, pistons don't look bad on the. Let's... Well, no, there is something there. Look, all the pistons got kind of beat up. So this probably tells me that we probably had some metal that was left over in this engine when it was put together. That it wasn't cleaned out properly. Oh. Um, that is a strong possibility there. How is this looking? This is good. This bearing looks like it's got some wear on there. Mm. So it's starting to hammer itself a little bit. And our crank? The journal looks okay from what I could see here. But well, we're going to take it apart, I guess, and mic it out. So. Looks like we're pulling this thing completely apart. I say let's do number four. Okay. Let's do it. This bearing's a little bit better. It's got some jitter, like some metal that was in there that got hammered in, I guess. Mm -hmm. So. The other one was worse. The other one, number one, was worse. Yeah, same thing with this one. It's got some, it's got scuffings on the ridge. On both sides of it. Um, definitely top bearing also looked like it had some, it was starting to get beaten up. All right, well, let's move on to the head and see what's going on there. Yeah, we're going to take apart and we're going to look at the Since bottom. Since the, these two was like the worst, let's just, you know, we know what's going on here already. So let's just move on just to save some time and um, see what's going on with the, with the head. It's good enough for now. Uh, 
Oh. All right, what are you seeing? Well, we've seen that little piece of whatever that was. The head's got a divot in there, like right there. It's got a little divot in cylinder one. Looks like something just came in here and just um, was bouncing around and eventually got thrown out. Oh, what is that? Bring me a light. Bring me a light. A point light, please, and a pick. All right, so look at that. Eesh. That's not good. That there is a crack on the cylinder head. Ah. Uh. Wow, this is not looking good for this head. This is not looking good for this whole engine assembly. Yeah. This is bad stuff. <sighs> I don't know, two weeks? It might be, this might be another two years. So this two weeks, the prom deadline is not happening here um it's looking grim but uh we're gonna try we're gonna we give it our try. best we, make it we are going to give it our best shot Let's i don't see. know i mean is this gonna need machine work now being that we have that or we need a new head um well we're taking it apart we'll it's we'll know in about 10 minutes okay, or so on. All right, so I rotated the head, and uh, this is cylinder one. Um, it looks like this valve is sitting a little bit higher than the other ones. So I want to see if we have uh, any kind of leaks. Uh, so we're going to fill these chambers up. Also on number three, we've got a big gouge there. It looks like a crack. So I am going to fill these up and make sure that this head's not cracked. If not, most likely I'm going to be taking this to the machine shop anyway. Yeah, this one's leaking too. It's just starting to come down. Mark them. Yeah, I just put a red marker here. It's not gonna, yeah. And which side of the system? Look and see where the, the fluid, which is wet. Oh. What we've got is this whole engine disassembled. Um, came across some stuff, and as, as we start investigating more, we start finding more stuff that we've got to work on. So our timelines just got kind of really, really small. But to recap, we've got pistons and, um, that had that gotten beaten up on the top. It's either from a piece of metal that was in there or it just got like really bad detonation on two cylinders. Our bearings on the two um, rods right now are not looking so great for something that's not too long put together and ha doesn't have a lot of mileage on it. What we found on the cylinder head is that we have a crack. We have a leak. So just this is just a simple quick test. And we have a leak here on number three. We have a crack on the cylinder head. Uh, that would explain 
that the random misfires that we would have uh, most of the time and we were chasing that that's one of the reasons why we decided to take this apart it didn't show up on a cylinder leak um, on a compression test so these are things that we couldn't explain now we have it and we have a visual we could definitely check uh, one of the valves here is not seating correctly it looks like it's twisted or maybe slightly bent uh, so we're gonna have to go through that and order up whatever parts we need to get this cylinder head so off we go to the machine shop with the head the block um we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the block but we're still on the two-week schedule Derek. uh yeah we're still on two-week schedule is it gonna happen realistically we will try it's going to be really really close really 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 close but we're gonna try you know we only have prom once in a lifetime yeah but you know we'll okay. figure it out i'm gonna hold you to that there okay all right guys here's a clip for the next video uh, as you could see we are in the process of building out the short block um, you guys let us know if you have any questions and like subscribe and share with a friend